Welcome to East Coast Health Review Reviews today. We're doing another beer review. I actually already had this beer on a Beer Man show. Um, I believe it was I Like Your Style. Did you know I Like Your Style or Beer and Cheese? But yeah, I decided to just do like a review slash revisit on my channel. This is the uh, Bass Pale Ale. So it's English Pale Ale, brewed by William Bass in Coe's, Merrimack, uh, New Hampshire. It says, the fine... This fine pale ale has been brewed in the Great British tradition using the finest two-row malt barley. Uh, originally brewed in 1777 by William Bass Brewers Limited, Burton-on-Trent, England. The ABV is 5.1%. It actually shows the uh, calories, 156. 12.4 grams carbs, 1.8 grams protein. Um, it's got this weird date on it. it, says 21, 28, 4, and then some other letters. So I'm not really sure exactly what the date is, but it, it should be pretty fresh. Um, yeah, crack this open, and uh, check out the appearance. So from what I recall, I did enjoy this beer. I think it was with cheese. I think it was with beer and cheese. Yeah, let's uh, pour this up. Nice color to it. Try to get a little bit more of a head. Yeah, uh, off white head. Definitely a, I see copper, copper color. Yeah, off white head produced about a finger ahead. It looks like it's actually dissipating pretty quick. Not sure if it's gonna leave a lacing. A little bit of bubbles in there. Nice and clear, like I said, clear copper. Let's uh, go for the aroma. Yeah, this is totally like candy bar, toffee caramel, white bread, a little bit of floral grassiness going on, even like citrus as well. smells, honestly, like I said, it smells kind of like a candy bar beer. Lots of sweetness on the aroma. Lots of sweet malts. Yeah, smells all around pretty good. Pretty decent. 5.1% ABV. Really nice standard ABV. And, uh, yeah, let's dive into this. Cheers, guys. Caramel. Actually, it's more, it's more toffee. It's more toffee. Lots of sweetness. Sweetness lingers throughout. Yep, breadiness. A litter, a little, a litter. A little bit of like a, um, like a peppery sp spice. Floral finish. Doesn't necessarily finish uh, bitter. But it's a little dry. Actually, like grapefruit, grapefruit and like lemon, grapefruit and lemon on the finish. It's good. Really nice carbonation, I will say. Carbonation's high. Mouth feels light. It's definitely nice and light. It's got a little bit of a. Uh, One second. It's a little, it's a little, st it's a little sticky sweet. Just a little bit. It's still a light mouthfeel, but you get like the sweetness. It's, it's kind of got like that sticky sweet sweetness. Really good. Crisp, refreshing, drinkable. If you want something on a, uh, on like a hot summer day, you don't want to drink like an adjunct lager or like a light lager. You want something with just a little bit more flavor to it, but it's not too filling um, with some really good carbonation like you get with those those adjunct lagers and like light lagers. Um, this is this would d definitely be a beer to grab. For a rating, I'm going to give it a, I say 88 out of 100. Um, I forgot what I rated on his show, but I think I'm going to stick with 88 out of 100. Yeah, it's good. It's, um, there's nothing like crazy about it. Um, it's one of those beers where it's kind of like drinking a candy bar. So if you like, um, 
like the Samuel Adams Oktoberfest kind of has that same aspect with that like sweetness from that caramel. It's kind of like that candy bar flavor. I think you would enjoy this one as well. Um, someone who doesn't like hops, I think necessarily would enjoy this. It's, it's like I said, it's not necessarily bitter, but there's a little bit of like a uh, peppery spice flow finish to it. Definitely good. I recommend it. I'm going to recommend it. I think this, I got a 12 pack for $15. So decent price. Definitely decent price for what you're getting. Um, it's right around the same. That's like right around the same as like what you would pay for a Budweiser. So, I mean, like I said, if you want something with a little bit more flavor, Cyclops scale, it's like four out of five uh, sugar cubes and about three out of five hop cones, I would say. So. But yeah, like I said, I recommend it. It's it's definitely a decent beer. Um, if you haven't had an English Pale Ale, this would be a decent one to try. I believe the Old Speckled Hen is also an English Pale Ale, the one that Bumpy had me try. That would be cool to do like a comparison of these two. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Is there anything else that you guys like to see on my channel? Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Like beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.